Howdy. Well, I am on day five, or no, day six of my um, e-smoking experience, and I've got to say I am loving it. Uh, the <clears throat> the uh, lack of smoke has really helped bring back the old senses. Uh, particularly, I've noticed that the taste of popcorn and the taste of dill pickles. I, I remember why I love both now. Um, so the, the of course the influx of oxygen minus the smoke has been nice too. I can breathe better. You know, it's just it's been a really awesome experience. I was hoping to give a review today of a very positive nature, but uh, um, not so much. You know, I know only being a week into this, it's probably a little presumptuous to make, you know, quick judgments on stuff like juice and drip tips, but um, I, I got some stuff in the mail. Some of it I'm happy with, some of it so-so. First of all, I want to go over these uh, drip tips that I got, and I'm using a, a, a whistle tip, drip tip, on my bluke. See there? It's... Uh, it's got a nice, um, a nice feel in the mouth. You know, it's got a, um, it's plastic. This is a whistle tip drip tip, and it comes from Nightlife, Nightlight Vapors. Uh, I'll have a link in the bottom there. Um, I'm very happy with the drip tip. It, it works good. Um, the fill hole, I don't know if you can see really well, but it's, yeah, it's it's a fairly decent size. Um, it works good for me. Eh, last night I did have a little bit of problems with it. Um, you know, first first time using a drip tip, so it, it was a little cumbersome at first. But it fits on a um, it, it's a 510 and it fits on a uh, KR808. My blue here, it, it, the KR808D, it fits on it just fine. Um, sometimes I've been told that you have to uh, use some uh, use like a file and uh, file off the end of it, but this has not this has not caused me any problems. I mean, it's a very snug, uh, very very uh, tight fit. It doesn't you don't have to force it, but it goes in really nice and snug. There is absolutely no movement in this whatsoever. It doesn't rattle, shake, no n nothing. I mean, whenever you have this in your mouth, it's very secure. Uh, it feels like it's just you know it it, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off on you, which of course is a good thing. Um, this. I, I went with this over the metal. I, I, eh, some people like the, the metal, but I just I don't I don't know how I'd feel about putting that in my mouth. But the plastic works good for me. Uh, it's a whistle tip. I like it. it. Might not be your thing. There's plenty of drip tips out there. Plenty of good drip tips out there too. So, eh, you know, just play around with it. And um, but personally, I like it. A couple of oh, um, one of the things Nightlight did send with this drip tip. They sent me a sample juice of which, where is it here? Which one is it? Um, uh, let's see. Is that it? Yeah, that's it right there. They sent me a sample juice, a one mil or a three mil sample of uh, a juice they have called Bounty Hunter. It's a tobacco blend. Mm, outside of menthol, I'm not a big tobacco person, actually. I smoked menthols all the time that I had cigarettes. Uh, very rarely would I smoke a non-menthol tobacco, unless it was pipe tobacco, and even then that was very rare. I only smoked a pipe for a little while, briefly with, you know, a friend of mine got me turned onto a pipe, and it was alright, but, you know, overall tobacco, men menthol is about as far as I go. So, I wasn't too thrilled with this, but I can tell you that for a tobacco, it's very robust. Um, it, it's a very nice... Uh, if you're looking for the tobacco flavor, uh, it's it's very nice. It's it's not in, it's not painful. It's not you know insulting or anything to vape it. It's just not my taste. So I will probably give this to somebody I know uh, that likes more tobaccoy flavors. Um, but you know it wasn't bad. It just wasn't my thing. But I appreciate the free sample. Um, another uh, the other thing I wanted to review something I'm not as impressed with as I would have liked to have been, especially since I bought a 30 mil bottle of this stuff. This juice here is from um, unsmoke.us. Mm, some of their other stuff may be okay, I don't know, but this I was not impressed with. This is uh, their Cool, and it's supposed to imitate a cool cigarette, you know, cool menthol. 
Um, it's I, I got this a little stronger than what came with my blue. I got 24 milligram cartridges. These are 28. I like the hit of the nicotine on this. A couple of the things that I wasn't thrilled with, and and I thought, well, you know, maybe maybe it's just the way that I've been, maybe it's just the way that I've been dripping it because you know being new to dripping. But I made sure that I had plenty of juice, you know, dripped into the cardamizer, you know, without overfilling it. I'm not thrilled. The taste of it does not remind me of a cool cigarette. It, you know, the, the mint is very, very, very subtle. And, you know, it's not, it feels harsh. You know, it, it's got a more harsh vape to it. It, it, it. It's not, it doesn't hurt the lungs, but it just feels a little more harsh. And the vapor quality on this juice, frankly, sucks. Um, if you inhale, it sucks. And like I said, I made sure that I had plenty of juice in here, and I've tried it like four or five different times filling up this cardamizer. Uh, and eh, I'll take a hit here. See, if you don't inhale, you get the juice. I mean, you get the vapor, but... The mint is subtle. It, you can feel it. it. You you know it's in there, but there's no vapor hardly at all. The vapor production on the whistle tip is fantastic because I I've been I used it with you know the sample that I got of this other juice from Nightlight Vapors, and but you know it's just it's not there and the flavor is not doing it for me. Um, I will probably keep this as an emergency vape. Uh, but I am certainly going to try more menthols because I'm a menthol lover. And, uh, but, you know, this, mm -mm, I'm sorry, folks, it's just not doing it for me. You know, maybe, maybe, um, Unsmoke has some good flavors. They have a pretty decent selection, but, eh, nah, I'm sorry. This, it's just, it's just not going to cut it. I mean, it, It's just not there, you know. I mean, the flavor's there, but the vapor isn't, and that's a pretty big thing with me. And and like I say, it's a harsh vape. It's not painful, but it's it, it feels harsh. Uh, so you know, whatever. Um, I'm not saying that I won't use it, uh, because obviously, you know, you you spend 15 bucks on a bottle of juice, you're you're gonna vape it whether it's your favorite or not, obviously. But um, something else that that U.S. or that uh, Unsmoke sent me was a um, a one mil sample of a uh, a juice that is supposed to be like a a red hot and I haven't tried this um, I might but you know red hot is not is not is not exactly my my favorite thing in the world but I can see it being a good vape uh, in in concept but um, but I will probably end up giving this to another friend of mine and letting him try it <laughs> because I'm a little I'm a little cautious about the red hot thing. I think it would be a good vape, but not up my alley either. I'm pretty picky with this stuff, folks. I, I like I like my specific flavors. So beyond that, I just want to say that after almost a week, the bluegg is still holding up nicely. I, I've already got two people interested in it. Um, you know, it's 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 great. I love it. It's it's not a big battery mod, but you know, I'm I'm not far enough along to be really concerned about that anyway. This I just I can't keep. It just. I no, you know, as far as the mint goes, I have to say it's pre-filled, but the Blue's mint is perfect. You know, it's, it's, it's the best thing that I've found so far, which isn't saying much. There is a company out of Wisconsin that actually sells e-juice. It's a little more expensive, so I don't know if I'm going to chance it. But I know there's better mint out there, and I would love a suggestion if anyone knows of any good ones. And if you, and I don't mean something that you think is good. I want something that is predominantly considered to be a good mint vape. But, um... I don't mind buying the pre-filled. I think it'd be a little cheaper to go with the juice, but right now, this is not doing it. So, 
you know, Unsmoke, you probably have great products, but sorry, this isn't one of them. Not for a menthol person, anyway. Uh, I, the review, I, I had like two reviews. I What did I see? Two or three reviews. So, apparently the people that bought it were satisfied with it. I don't know what they were looking for, but I wouldn't call it menthol. I, I just wouldn't. So, there you go. That's what I've got. It's, you know... I, it's a very personal preference type of thing, I suppose. But, you know, as far as the whistle tips, I'm very happy with them. And, I, and I'll give a link to Unsmoke, just, you know, in case you want to try them. I can see them having some good stuff. You know, I'm not going to judge a company based on one juice. It's just not, you know, you're going you're gonna to find good and bad out there. But I'll give a link to them. I'll have a link to Nightlight Vapors in the bottom. The whistle tip, I highly recommend it. It's great. It's, um, you know, it's... It, the, you know, it's easy to fill once you get the hang of dripping, you know, it's not, it's not that horrible. I, I didn't think it was going to work out for me at first, but I gave it, you know, a few more tries, and you, you just have to work with it. So there you go, it is a whistle tip from Nightlight Vapors. It's unsmoked juice. Thanks for watching.